In this screencast, we're going to talk about adding comments in your style sheet. In almost all programming language, there has to be at least one way to add hidden comments in the page, and CSS is no different. Let's look at a page that we have earlier uh, that's called inheritance.html. We have some CSS styles set up, and for example, if you don't know or if you are afraid that you're going to forget what layer one class is, uh, you can always add a comment that's not visible on your web page. Okay, so you can remind yourself what this class does and where it goes. So, f in order to add comments, you do slash forward slash star star forward slash. Okay, and you can do all sorts of comments inside the this two parameters okay so this is assigned to a div okay or you can add a few more lines like that second oops second line third line okay so on and so forth let's save it minimize it and open up the CSS folder and let's open up the inheritance page in our browser and let's take a look you don't actually see that comment okay because this is the way you put comments inside a style sheet now you can do this wherever you're within the style tag okay or when you're inside your external style sheet. For example, it's just going to be a blank page. You're going to set up classes, right? Uh, classes for divs, classes for A tags, or you set up a few classes, or you set up an ID, right? Like that. And then you can always uh, section. This is what I usually do. Uh, this would be the top section of my styles and then this would be the menus right? and I'll have classes for menu class right? and then um, menu UL that means uh, any UL within the menu class Okay, and then I'll have, you can see that I, I do it differently. I don't do this, 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 and this. I, I do the two slashes first and add the asterisks later. Okay, so do footer, and you're going to have more classes like that. Okay, so this is what I usually use when I use comments. Okay, to spread things out and group classes or selectors into a more visible area. Okay, so it's easier for me when I'm building my web page. Okay, so that's it for CSS comments. Thank you.